in 2019 government of india scrapped article 370 which gave special status to jammu and kashmir and even status of jammu and kashmir got changed from a state to union territory and ladakh was taken out of the state of jammu and kashmir and it got converted in a separate union territory all these particular things as well as the manner in which article 370 got scrapped were contested in supreme court of india and after the gap of 4 years now supreme court has given its judgment with respect to the article number 370 and the dilution of special status of jammu and kashmir now in this particular video we are going to track the academic issues right from 1947 we are going to see that how jammu and kashmir evolved and how it got the special status what happened in 2019 how the status of jammu and kashmir got changed what were the questions that were posed in front of supreme court and now what supreme court has ruled in this particular regard so let's start with the video now we are going to start this journey from 1947 so on 15th of august 1947 india got independent and at that point of a time maharaja hari singh who was the ruler of jammu and kashmir decided that they will neither join pakistan nor they will join india they will stay independent so therefore jammu and kashmir emerged as an independent state however just after two months that is on 20th october 1947 pakistan sponsored an attack on jammu and kashmir because pakistan wanted to forcefully they wanted to integrate jammu and kashmir in pakistan at that point of a time maharaja hari singh he signed an instrument of accession with india he signed an instrument of accession with india and as per this instrument of accession jammu and kashmir decided that three subjects would be given immediately to india and these three subjects were defense communication and external affairs and during the signing of this instrument of accession it was also agreed that internal autonomy of jammu and kashmir would be respected by india after jammu and kashmir gets integrated with the india and assurance was given by the government of india to jnk now in order to fulfill this particular assurance in order to fulfill this particular assurance a special arrangement was made that is article 370 now guys when we talk about article 370 first of all let's read the basic provisions of article 370 so that you can understand this issue in more better way so article 370 provides this particular thing that the power of parliament with respect to jammu and kashmir will be limited parliament can make laws only on those particular subjects which have been agreed in the instrument of accession or parliament can make law on those subjects which are agreed by the state government the government of jammu and kashmir this was provided also it was provided if you see the title of article 370 it is visible in the title of article 370 it was provided from the day one that they are the temporary provisions with respect to the jammu and kashmir also if we read article 370 it was also provided in article 370 it was also provided in the article number 370 that whenever article 370 is to be scrapped or article 370 is to be changed that particular thing can be done by the president of india can be done by the president of india and president will act on the recommendation given by the constituent assembly of jammu and kashmir or on the recommendation given by the state government of jammu and kashmir okay now after article 370 was enacted in the constitution of india eventually in 1954 finally what happened jammu and kashmir got acceded to india and in 1954 what happened const presidential order or the constitution application to jammu and kashmir order 1954 was passed now understand this particular thing what is this presidential order of 1954 or constitution order of 1954 it is actually the master document that defined relation between jammu kashmir and india okay it defined the relation between jammu kashmir and the union of india in this particular document it was provided that all the provisions of the constitution of india will not be applicable to jammu and kashmir 
only those provisions of only those provisions of the constitution of india will be applicable to jammu and kashmir which will be agreed by the state of jammu and kashmir it was also it was also provided it was also provided that the laws in the normal matter which are applicable to the country will not be applicable to jammu and kashmir also constitution order of 1954 it also provided for article 35a now whenever you read the bayer document or when you read the uh, bayer constitution you don't find article 35 in the constitution but article 35 was added which featured in the constitution of jammu and kashmir in indian constitution you will not find it in the main document now what article 35 provided 35a sorry provided article 35a provided it bars the non jammu and kashmir resident from buying the property in the state it it gives it gives a lot of powers to the jammu and kashmir to decide on the matters of job on the matters of employment okay so special status to the residents of jammu and kashmir was also given by the article 35a okay and guys what happened all the special arrangement that exist for jammu and kashmir it existed because of this constitution order 1954 now guys you might already be knowing this particular thing that when we talk about constitution provisions that are in the constitution of india most of the times they provide a basic framework and to implement that basic framework detailed laws detailed orders are passed so to implement the spirit of article 370 which was a framework document presidential order of 1954 or constitution order of 1954 was passed which actually decided the relation between j and k and india and this document even provided that jammu and kashmir will be allowed to have a separate constitution okay all these particular things happened now guys this matter continued now let's come to the contemporary time so basically guys i would like to start the story now from 2015 now what happened in 2015 jammu and kashmir new government was formed so pdp and bjp they made an alliance and mehbooba mufti became chief minister of jammu and kashmir she came from the pdp political party however what what happened in june 2018 after 3 years bjp withdrew its support and because of that particular thing mehbooba mufti cm of jammu and kashmir has to resign and once she resigned governor of jammu and kashmir governor of jammu and kashmir invoked the governor's rule in jammu and kashmir under the provision that is section 92 of jammu and kashmir constitution fine keep it in mind jammu and kashmir constitution the section 92 now understand this particular thing for the state of jammu and kashmir president rule under article 356 can be invoked also for jammu and kashmir governor's rule under section 92 of of jammu and kashmir constitution could also be invoked so what happened just after the resign governor's rule under section 92 was invoked it continued for 6 months maximum it can stay for 6 months it continued for 6 months and after 6 months what happened in december 2018 under the article 356 president rule president rule was imposed in jammu and kashmir however one more thing i would like to tell you that before this president rule state assembly was dissolved by the governor state assembly was dissolved by the government so there is no active state assembly and president rule is going on this is the status as of december 2018 i hope that you are understanding it now guys what happened in june in june this president rule was further extended for six more months it was further extended okay and then in august 2019 when president rule was going on what happened at that point of a time president of india passed two constitution orders that is constitution order 272 and constitution order 273 okay now these constitution order 272 and 273 what actually they did they replaced the constitution order of 1954 now guys if you remember just a couple of minutes back i told you about this constitution order of 1954 which actually was the master document and in detail it provided all the special statuses that will be there with jammu and kashmir that jammu and kashmir will have a separate constitution 
only specific provisions of the constitution will be applicable to Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, so this constitution order of 1954 was, was replaced with the constitution order 272 and constitution order 273. And what it provided? It provided that entire constitution of India will now be applicable to the Jammu and Kashmir. And after that, it was also provided that special provisions that was provided by Article 370, these special provisions are now being removed. Article 370 got abrogated, it got scrapped by this constitution order. Okay. Along with this constitution order 272, 273, Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act 2019 was also passed. And this Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act of 2019 provided that state of Jammu and Kashmir, state of Jammu and Kashmir will be bifurcated in two union territories, that is union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and union territory of Ladakh. So the state was bifurcated in two parts. So all these particular things happened. Now, one question will come in your mind and if it has not come, it should come in your mind that if I take you back, I told you that Article 370 could only be changed if Consti Constitution Assembly, Constitution Assembly of Jammu and Kashmir gives permission or if the state government gives a permission, only then Article 370 could be scrapped. Okay, but if we see, has the Constituent Assembly of Jammu Kashmir given the suggestion has the state government given the suggestion no let's understand this thing and guys you know that already already in jammu and kashmir right now president rule is going on president rule is going on okay so president rule is going on therefore state government is not there to advise even constituent assembly is not there to advise now what government has done actually government has used article 367 now, what is Article 367? Let's understand this thing. So, Article 367 contains interpretations. It contains interpretations. It provides that, see, for example, for example, meaning of X is this. Meaning of Y is this. So, what different, different expressions will mean? Those interpretations are provided in Article 367. So, one new provision was added in Article 367. Subclause 4 was added. And it was provided, it was provided that Sadare Riyasat in the context of Jammu and Kashmir means governor. State government in the context of Jammu and Kashmir means governor, means governor. Now, in order to change Article 370, you need to have the approval of Constituent Assembly. Constituent Assembly is not existing now. So, if it is not existing, whose approval is needed? State government's approval is needed. State government is also not existing because president rule is going on. Furthermore, even what state government means, its interpretation has been changed by amending Article 367. And it is provided that the state government means governor. Okay. So, they said that now governor will advise us to scrap Article 370. And if governor advises us, we can do that thing. And simply on this particular basis, Article 370 got scrapped, entire constitution of India was applied to the Jammu and Kashmir. Now, what happened? There are certain matters that got raised in front of Supreme Court. There were certain matters that were raised in front of Supreme Court. Okay. Now, guys, understand this particular thing. Understand this particular thing that as we talk about this particular matter, now, often you hear that cases are, they, they start by some name, for example, Keshwananda Bharti case, okay. For example, we have Indra Sahani case, we have many cases. Now, what is the name of this particular case? So, it is in reference to Article 370 of the Constitution case, in reference to Article 370 of the Constitution case. So, let's discuss one by one that what were the matters that were raised in the front of Supreme Court. So, I will explain them one by one and if it is not visible, I will read also. Okay. Now, one thing that was provided is that whether the provisions of Article 370 were temporary in nature or were they permanent in the nature? What actually has happened? The people who have appealed in this particular matter, they said that it was a solemn promise that was given to people of Jammu and Kashmir when instrument of accession was signed, a promise 
okay was given that this their autonomy will always be respected so they say article 370 was actually permanent in nature but now it has been removed so what was the nature of article 370 permanent or temporary then next thing that also comes here okay one more thing guys that notes of this particular session i have shared in the telegram channel please uh, you may join the telegram group and download the notes of this session from telegram group link is given in description box okay the next question that was raised next question that was raised whether the amendment to article 367 through the exercise of power under article 370 okay and the substitution of the word constituent assembly with the governor substitution of the word state government with the governor is it right is it legally valid this was a second question then third question that was raised okay can entire constitution whether the entire constitution can be applied to the jammu and kashmir because we saw that constitution order 272 73 applied that then the next question that was raised the next question that was raised is that the abrogation of article 370 without the recommendation of j and k constituent assembly is it valid is it valid the next question that was raised whether the proclamation of governor dissolving the legislative assembly valid or not now if you remember in 2018 chief minister resigned first governor rule then assembly got dissolved and then president rule so governor's decision of dissolving the assembly was that constitutionally valid or not the next matter that was raised was that proclamation of presidential rule proclamation of president rule under article 356 was right was malafide or not there it was said that it was a ground that was made deliberately in 2018 first bjp government withdrew their support then president rule came it was a ground to do what they wanted to do in 2019 that is scrapping of article 370 it was a ground making exercise so the president rule was imposed with a malafide intention then next it was said that jammu and kashmir reorganization act 2019 which bifurcated j and k in two parts whether that is constitutionally valid or not and finally finally during the proclamation of article 356 during the proclamation of article 356 when president rule is going on at that point of a time can the bifurcation of a state in ut can be done or not so these particular matters were provided okay to court notes i will put in telegram channel you please download the notes okay now let's see let's see what supreme court has ruled in this particular regard okay now guys when we talk about the supreme court's ruling supreme court has upheld supreme court has upheld government's decision to scrap article 370 they have said that whatever has been done by the government it was well in the powers of the government of india and status of jammu and kashmir will continue as it is going on right now status quo will be maintained now first of all first of all supreme court had said this particular thing that whatever president did in 2019 it was simply the culmination of a gradual collaborative exercise supreme court provided this particular thing that from the past 70 years we have already started the integration of jammu and kashmir even even guys if you read article 370 from from the constitution of india So, Article Three Seventy's title itself mentions the temporary provision with respect to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. So, what Supreme Court provided? Supreme Court provided that gradually Jammu and Kashmir was to be integrated with India, and therefore, whatever has been done by the government, it is not unconstitutional. Okay, fine, it is not uh, the Jammu and uh, it it is not something wrong. Supreme Court ruled that the Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir was redundant. okay and is in operative okay so they have allowed this particular thing also also supreme court has provided this particular thing that also supreme court has provided this particular thing that jammu and kashmir did not enjoyed the sovereignty there was a there was special status that was given considerable autonomy was given and that autonomy we give to a lot of states but jammu kashmir never enjoyed a sovereignty okay so therefore whatever has been done by the union it is right it is right okay also guys it has also been provided that impartial truth and reconciliation commission is to be established for jammu and kashmir now guys you might be knowing this particular thing that throughout the 1980s and 1990s 
okay there are so many tensions that have prevailed in jammu and kashmir there are the, there is the flight of kashmiri pandits okay insurgency has also become a very big problem okay so therefore they have said that a lot of human right violations have happened in jammu and kashmir for in the period of 1980s and 90s so to investigate the human right violations to investigate the tragedies and traumas that have been seen by the generations in jammu and kashmir this impartial truth and reconciliation commission will be created it will investigate and report all the violations of the human right cases that has happened and all the supreme court has provided this particular thing that it should complete its exercise in a time bound manner in a time bound manner okay so this is the other thing that has come then guys further supreme court also provided this particular thing that it has been provided that president rule was going on and during president rule all these changes happened now one particular judgment guys i would like to discuss because this particular judge this uh, judgments reference has been taken by supreme court and the judgment is sr bomai case sr bomai case now sr bomai case concerns the article 356 president rule now it has been provided it has been provided in the sr bomai case that article 356 president rule is subject to judicial review on the grounds of malafide extraneous considerations okay so we can investigate that what was the intention behind the imposition of a president rule if it is a malafide we can revoke the president rule this ruling was given by the supreme court in sr bomai case now the petitioners they said this thing that intention was malafide deliberately president rule was imposed so that the status could be changed during the president rule so intentions were malafide and therefore they said that the president rule was unconstitutional now supreme court said that yes in sr bomai bomai case it was ruled that president rule could be investigated on the basis of malafide investigation but they said but they say that we cannot investigate and it should not be done to all the decisions and actions that were taken by the union during the president rule so every action of union every action for state that has been taken by union during president rule that cannot be investigated it will create chaos it will create chaos also also guys there is one more issue that has come the issue that has come is that past time this has happened that one full fledged state has been bifurcated and both the two parts have been created as a ut it is a downgrade by using article 3 so petitioner said that under article 3 you have bifurcated a state in two part and both the parts have been created in a ut for that states approval or states views should have been taken okay now what has happened supreme court has also did not overruled that thing supreme court said that under article 3 it is well in the power of parliament to change the status of any state and even creating ut it is not wrong but as soon as possible government should strive to change the status of jammu and kashmir in a full fledged state and elections should also be conducted okay so center has given an assurance that as soon as possible we will convert jammu and kashmir in a state and for elections it has been said that election commission should hold assembly elections should hold assembly elections by september 30 2024 september 30 2024 and even supreme court has has held constitutional the creation of union territory of ladakh from the jammu and kashmir okay so this is all that has happened now critics have said this particular thing that it might start a bad precedence how what contentions have come let's discuss that also so critics say for example whatever the today parliament now see they say what they can do states where their government states where the government are different than the government at center they can change the status of that particular state to a union territory and you know that the union territory are directly governed by the union okay that precedence could be started also also guys this particular thing will further consolidate will further give more wings to the government under president rule under president rule such a big thing is being justified so next time under president rule under the garb of president rule even bigger things will be 
done. So this is something that has been ruled in this particular judgment. Now, guys, I have told you that I will share notes of this session on Telegram group. And one thing I will advise you that beyond this session and the notes that we are giving, please don't go more than this for this issue. Because question, if it will come in examination, there is a more probability that question will come in GS paper number 2. Okay, but either question will be of 150 words or will be of 250 words. If it is a 10 marker, it will be 150 words. If it is a 15 marker, it will be 250 words. My point is that even in that, they will ask multiple dimensions. So more than this, you will not be needed and even that is not necessary and political aspects, political commentary that is not needed for our examinations. So that is all about it. No need to go beyond it. So with this, we come to an end to this session. I hope that you have liked and you have enjoyed this particular session. Thank you so much.